Painting in foreign countries with great artists! That's one of my favorite activities to do and that's exactly what you can expect in this video. But also, you can expect problems. Let's go! What's up? Welcome to the Paint on Walls Festival in Geldern! You might remember that I've been here the last year and I painted this huge wall with smoke in two and a half days. This year our wall at this festival is also very big, but there will be four of us, our whole crew. It's Friday evening, the festival is starting tomorrow, but we arrived early to, to be early. <laughs> but to our surprise, most of the guys are already painting. So we just arrived and we are already falling behind. That's that's nice. Is there something to eat? Hey. Hey, hey Kai. Martin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. Oh, that's <laughs> so while Smo is moving his caravan, let me introduce you to the YIC crew. It's a crew that we started with Smo in 2018. And the members of the crew are me, Smo, T2 Sugars from Wales, and Der Kunstwerker, aka Flo, from Germany. And by the end of this video, there will be more of us, but more about that later. Because right now we need to figure out what the hell are we going to paint on the wall. Uh, Kawabanga, perfect, okay, so... Morning! I have never seen this many cranes at a spot. Last year we worked with this baby here. Right now it's Nick's. This is Nick Moody. Hello. Hi Nick. Hi <laughs> Doke. Hello. Oh, Nanda. No, no. Take off. No, 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 no. Oh, don't So. Oh la la! Alrighty, we started with a doodle grid. It's really loud in here because of the combustion engines in the cranes. Music! These are the times when airpods come handy. Here we go, the whole YIC crew in action. Two of us on cranes and two of us with ladders. The ones on the cranes had a pretty big advantage because painting on a crane is a lot easier than climbing on ladder all the time, but no one complained, I promise. We did complain a little about the structure of the wall, which was very rough, so little details got lost in the texture, which is not ideal, but you just learn how to work with it. The artist with the worst circumstances was definitely Nick who had to build his own scaffolding because a lift wouldn't get close enough to the wall. And right next to Nick you can see Moan. I painted with him last year in Frankfurt. and also Smo are going very realistic with their characters. And I didn't really plan doing realism. I have a more of a cartoonish character prepared, so I hope that at the end it's gonna fit it, fit it all together. So there is a storm coming. You can put it under a mold. These are the problems that I mentioned all the way in the beginning of this video. The weather forecast for this weekend was a disaster for both days. We got lucky till this point, but the clouds eventually arrived. For sure, rain is terrible for events like this, but fortunately it stopped pretty quickly. Time for one more sketch? Yeah, sure. So in the meantime, we sketched into some black books and we went straight back to painting because the forecast for today was not so bad as the forecast for tomorrow. Here we go. I like this one. 
Okay, we have a little window with no rain, so let's use it. Oh, you got yourself an umbrella. Umbrella now, yeah. Ooh. Do you have the reference? Yeah, I think it's good. Okay, this color. I just finished the light thing, and I don't like it. I don't like the. I don't. I don't. I don't like the color. <sighs> Marker. Thanks a lot. Okay. Ah. Now it's my time to use the crane because I need to finish the hand up there and my letter. Woo! My letter doesn't reach there. Perfect. Okay, it's six o'clock. I'm pretty wet, but the progress of today is very solid. As we wrapped up this day, we got a special visitor, Alpai. You should know him from the YouTube art scene. He's a brilliant oil painter and he was that kind that he traveled here to meet us and we had a great time that evening. Yeah, great time before the hell. Alrighty, day three. The weather forecast looks like shit, but so far the reality is just sunny. Fuck it. I started to work on my background, but after a little while the hell unleashed its... Um, <clears throat> and it's raining. Whatever. At first the rain was not so bad so we just continued with the painting because we simply need to finish the wall but eventually it got worse. And at that moment I started to understand that that some of the most uncomfortable hours of my painting life are coming. Okay, this is getting terrible. Ugh. Yeah, what a spot! Mm. This is stupid. What? We were standing under the tents and we were wondering if the rain gets any better because there is a difference between rain and the complete rainy massacre. <laughs> Matis, the organizer of the festival, brought us coffee and he told us that there is no need for us to finish the wall. But for sure, we have to finish the wall. We can't add another day. So we just went out there and continued. No, the rain is going this way. <laughs> We are all soaking wet, but we gotta finish the wall. Yeah, we love this. Situations like this suck. 
I have painted in bad conditions, but this, this was one of the worst. But there is also a positive side. You kind of feel like a superhero who needs to overcome all these obstacles. And you feel like a proud graffiti artist because no other group of artists in this world need to paint in such a conditions. But I have my limits. Go down. This is not safe. <laughs> Rain is one thing, but thunders no thank you i waited in the tent for about 15 minutes until i hear no thunders and i went back to the wall Fortunately, we have done a very good progress the last day, so there was not all that much things to paint. And we were all proud of our crew because we made it. We collaborated, we helped each other, we pushed each other. And at the end of the day, the design that we painted with the Ninja Turtles made a complete sense. Okay. Maybe we can go up there and paint the moon. All right. Could be, could be nice. You know, we don't get paid for this and the YouTube revenue from this project will barely pay for the traveling costs. So when you are there in the rain, you are kind of thinking like, is this worth it? Do I need this in my life? So the wall is pretty much finished. I'm walking to the trailer to get changed because I'm all wet. It's cold. Ah, yeah. Experiences like this. And the answer is yes. Yes, it is worth it. And it is worth it because of the people. Because experiences like this make excellent memories. When you forget about all the shit you had to go through. And before I show you the final wall, one more announcement. Nick Moody, who shared this whole beautiful experience with us, has become a new member of the YIC crew. So now, there is five of us. This is it.